What's going on guys? I want to do a follow-up video today on something I hadn't done in a while and that is True Specs All-Terrain Tiger Stripe Pattern. Um, I did a video on it mm, quite some time back and I hadn't really followed up on it like I'd wanted to. Just oversight on my part. Um, busy doing stuff. So, figure well, I'll rectify that now. <clears throat> this is True Specs All Terrain Tiger Stripe pattern, in case you aren't already familiar with it. Um, it's <clears throat> kind of a unique pattern. There, there's not a whole lot out there um, like it, per se. Um, some folks say that it looks kind of like a Tiger Stripe multicam. Um, <clears throat> to me, it really doesn't. It doesn't have the same colors that the multicam does when, when you put them side by side you can really see the difference um, you don't see a whole lot of people using it um, I haven't been able to really find many pictures or video of anything of folks around the net um, using it for, mu for much of anything I mean you know, there's advertisement photos and stuff like that but you know and, and an occasional one but overall not not that much so I wanted to throw it back out there for you uh, as something to consider because I've really come to like it. <clears throat> Just to give you the rundown on the on the, the clothing itself, this is True Specs TRU uniform. It's made um, pretty much like the, the Army's ACU uniform as far as the pocket layout and construction and all that. Um, the material is 5050 Nyko ripstop. They also have it in uh, a BDU style uh, pants and top. You've got boonie hats, they've got patrol caps, um, and they also have their regular TRU combat shirt and a quarter zip combat shirt. So you really got kind of the complete gamut there depending on which, <clears throat> which style you like. The, the Nyko material that you use, like I said, it's a ripstop material, but it's a, a fairly heavyweight uh, ripstop material. It's not overly hot as compared to you know, anything else that's available, but it's not that really, really thin, like pajama feel uh, stuff that, that some, some stuff's made out of. This is a pretty, pretty substantial stuff. I've done a lot of walking and wandering through the woods and stuff in it and had briars grabbing and snagging at it and <clears throat> don't have any, any rips or tears or frays or anything uh, to show for it. So very uh, pretty durable uh, so far from, from my experience now the pattern itself I'll come in a little closer for you is kind of a combination of browns and tans uh, different different shades and depths I really like it kind of as a, a good versatile pattern um, it works good in more open areas and sunny areas but then it also works really well in you know thick woodlands and stuff as well it tends to kind of depending on how much lighting there is how dark it is or whatever um, when you're in a darker area the darker browns kind of take over when you're in a lighter area the the lighter colors kind of kind of come out so that, that really makes it kind of versatile now I think it's a good option for uh, a prepared citizen uh, because it, it's available, okay? Find any, any main true spec dealer that you can out there, and I'm sure they've either got it or can get it. So that's one consideration is availability. Second is the cost. If, if most of you are like me and on a budget, I, I can't pay $100 for a pair of pants and $100 for a top and you know whatever because as you've heard me mention probably multiple times before as an armed repaired citizen I think you individually need to have at least two preferably three sets as a minimum in your in your stored stored clothing so <clears throat> when you start getting into those kind of numbers you, you're talking about a lot of money if, if the stuff's expensive the good thing is you can get a complete set of this pants top boonie hat um, for under a hundred dollars probably right around the $90 mark, give or take, depending on the, the, the individual dealer. So that gives you, you know, uh, in line with what else is out there as far as affordability. Um, you won't completely break the bank. 
It's also good if you're trying to, you know, if you've got a, a, a preparedness group, whatever, and everybody's wanting to use the same thing, you've got a good option here. If you don't want to use like a current military pattern, and some guys don't have a problem with that, some guys do, doesn't matter to me, that's personal preference, whatever. But if you don't, but you still want a good pattern, well, here you go. Here's you an option to, to take a look at. So I'm not going to ramble on about it too much. Um, you know, if you've got any specific questions or whatever, let me know. Um, I've got a preferred dealer that, that I like to shop with for, for true spec stuff. I'll put a link to it uh, down below for you. You can click on it. Um, the only other thought to add is a lot of guys like to have their gear uh, coordinated and matched with their, with their clothes. Some folks don't really care whether it's, you know, matched or not. Again, that's personal preference. Neither, neither position there is right or wrong, okay? There's, there's good valid arguments on both sides of that coin. Not something I'm going to get into. All I'm going to say is <clears throat> the cool thing about this, even though there's not really anybody making um, all-terrain Tiger Stripe gear right now, although I do know where you might can get, um, if, you, if you're running an AR-15, I know where you might can get one or two um, chest rigs made in, in uh the, the pattern. Um, send me a private message if you do, and I'll uh, I'll let you know where that's at. Um, but otherwise, the good thing is, Coyote Brown gear works perfectly with this pattern. Now, I just heard some of you gasp, so hold on. If you're in a real wooded environment, I know a lot of you think that you got to have a green pattern clothing or green dominant gear or whatever. Nothing wrong with that. It works. But don't overlook the brown stuff, especially the coyote brown stuff, because believe it or not, guys, there's a lot more coyote brown out there and brownish tones out there than what you think. Just because you're not seeing them doesn't mean that they're not there. Maybe there's a clue in that if you think about it real hard for a minute. So, that said... I'll kind of give you, show you what I mean. As far as gear goes, get situated here. Coyote Brown gear works perfectly with the All Terrain Tiger Stripe pattern, okay? Coyote Brown is, is a very versatile earth tone color. Virtually every gear maker out there right now has got Coyote Brown gear. I mean, there's there's nothing you can want in Coyote gear that you can't get. Belts, pouches, chest rigs, backpacks, um, you name it, it's out there. It works in the woods, trust me. Also, solid Coyote gear like this, as you start using it, it's going to start getting dirty. It's going to start taking on the tones and colors of the environment that you're working in, okay? So it'll kind of self-camouflage to a, to a point. There you go, problem solved. So if you want to have something that actually works good with the pattern, <clears throat> Coyote Brown. I'm going to come in a little closer for you. <clears throat> you can kind of see the, the, the colors and how it all works together. I know I'm kind of in the sunlight right there, but... As I back up even further, maybe get back in the shadows a little bit here. No, nope, that's in the sun. Well, you get the idea, okay? So, check it out. True Specs All Terrain Tiger Stripe pattern. Again, this is their TRU uniform. Just so you can kind of see that it, it does work in a in a wooded environment. I'm gonna go take a walk, try to get you a little bit of video. It won't be a lot. Um, but I'll try to get you what I can real quick because I'm trying to keep this video kind of short and I want it to drag on half hour. So we're going to run back here and get a few shots and let you kind of see that, yes, this stuff does work uh, in a wooded environment. Um, it also works in a more open environment, grassy fields, um, even an urban environment. So give it some thought, check it out, and uh, let's go take a walk.
Alright guys, as you can see, uh, this all-terrain tiger stripe is actually a pretty versatile pattern. Um, again, it's not a be-all, end-all predator cloaking device. Hadn't been invented yet. But <clears throat> I would say stacked up against most of the other current camo patterns out there, um, it easily holds its own. Um, I don't think it really falls too far behind or reaches too far ahead of, of anything else that's out there. So check it out, <clears throat> give it some, some consideration. Like I said, if you're trying to outfit a team or a group of guys, um, could be a viable option for you. Um, if you're just on a budget and need to get you know, multiple sets and don't, don't want to spend a ton of money, might be an option. Um, so yeah, not a, not a whole lot else to to be able to say about it. Um, hope you like it. Uh, I'm going to go take another walk. Take care, and we'll see you next time.